Hey everyone, it's Lachlan here from Focal. I'm here to show you how our booking system works. It's very simple, very easy to use, and it's absolutely amazing for your customers. We'll start from the client perspective. So when you get your Focal investment guide set up and your packages, you know it's very easy for clients to come here and browse the different packages that you offer. The whole idea behind Focal is that, you know, instead of clients having to come and ask you, hey, how much does it cost? What do I get? They can just browse your packages super simply, find the one that they're looking for, and um, request a booking. So I'm going to show you here um, how a client would come on to your booking page. You know, maybe they have a preferred wedding date. Let's take Saturday the 23rd, um, starting at 10 a.m., they just fill out that. They can submit a very simple booking request by filling out their information. They can put in their phone number and they can write you a message. There we go. Hi Taylor, it's Lachlan. I would love to book your six hour package. When I hit submit, you as the photographer are going to get an email that's like, hey, here's your booking request from Lachlan. Um, as a client, I'm also getting a confirmation email, which is really, really great. It's telling me that, hey, um, my booking request just went through and I know that it didn't just sort of disappear into the form submission abyss. <laughs> now I'll show you really quickly what a booking request looks like. So when you receive a booking request by email, uh, you're getting a page that looks like this. So it's going to say, you know, new booking request from Lachlan. It's going to have all of my client information as well as a big link here for you to log into your focal dashboard so that you can review that booking request and then, you know, send me a booking. So now I'm going to go over to the bookings page. So you can navigate to your bookings tab and you can see that new booking request. It's very easy to come in here. You can click view booking. Here's all of my client information. You can see the package that I was looking for. Um, you've got my phone number. And this is where it's really easy to, you know, attach a contract and uh, edit, you know, the template should you need to. Now, this is, again, probably the point where you're calling up the client. You're saying, hey, Lachlan, you know, I just got your booking request. I'm really, really looking forward to your wedding. You know, I'm going to send off your um, contract and your uh, invoice email now. And, you know, if there's any changes that you need to make, you can add, um, you know, discounts. Maybe it's a friend. We'll put in a $100 discount there. You can add a discount line item. You can also add, you know, additional line items. Say they want a second shooter. Say they want... Um, one of your print packages. You can add that all into the booking before it gets sent off. You can also choose to um, edit the amount due in the booking. So say for this booking, you know, you only need a deposit of $2,000. You can just update that very easily there. And that's going to be the amount that the client is, um, that you're requesting from the client. It's also important to note that normally this amount due is simply set by the amount of the deposit that you have set on your booking. So whatever the deposit is set on your booking, that's going to sort of be the default amount due that shows up in this booking request. But then you can also go and override that if you're looking to collect um, a different amount. I'm going to put in a meeting spot here as well. And I'm just going to write a little message back. Thanks so much for your booking. Awesome, now I'm just gonna hit accept and that's gonna create my booking and it's going to send an email off to the client if I had that email notification um, box checked there. So the client's gonna get an email from you with all their booking information. It's got the package they're looking for, you know, the date and time as well as the meeting place, any line item discounts that you've added. It's very easy for them to just click view booking and uh, that's going to take them to their private booking page. This is what's really different about Focal. You know, unlike other platforms where you might have to send off like one separate email for the contract and then a separate email for the deposit and then another separate email for the remaining balance. With Focal, the client just gets their own page where it details everything about their booking. It's where they can sign their contract. It's where they can pay all of the different uh, payment increments for their booking.
So as you can see here, we've got all of the um, package information here. They can click this button to actually go and view the package. They can review the breakdown of their booking. This is where they can e-sign their contract. I apologize, I was a little lazy and I hadn't filled in the client information here. So that's why you're seeing some of the blanks. If I wanna sign this contract, I can type my name, I can hit sign, I hit save changes. It's gonna say, hey, this contract cannot be modified now. Do you wish to continue? Yes, I'm confirming. And then that's actually gonna trigger another contract confirmation email to the client as well as you as the photographer it's going to record a couple things like the ip address and the time and information related to that contract that was signed now you can also go in and have the client sign the contract again for example if the partner second partner wanted to um, also sign they can come here and uh, sign the contract as well and that will again trigger another um, contract email Clients can also view um, the contract here as well as download a signed copy in PDF format. Now as a client, if I'm gonna go ahead and pay the booking now, it's very easy for me just to click this pay with card button. That's gonna take me to my secure Stripe checkout. This is um, all powered by Stripe. So the fees are simply the Stripe fees, which are 2.9% plus 30 cents. Um, you can also customize your Stripe checkout page with your own branding, your own logos. Um, they also support promotion codes that you can set up in Stripe and uh, customers can use at checkout. So there's sort of two ways to do discounts with Focal. You can either apply discount line items right to the booking page or um, clients can, can apply a Stripe promo code at checkout. So after you've accepted a booking request, it'll disappear from the booking request section and it'll actually go into your booking. So this is the section right below your booking request. Now you can see, okay, we've got the Lachlan booking here where that amount due was $2,000. There's a couple cool things that you can do from this point as well. So with all focal bookings, it's really easy to update them, update them on the fly and then you know you don't have to send clients an email and say hey you know i just had to change this thing about your booking or maybe they end up changing the date maybe they decided they wanted um you know a second shooter and you had to add that into the booking here we'll add a second shooter right now say it's 500 dollars. add line item and uh, what's really cool about focal is you're actually just going to hit the edit booking button this is sending off a booking updated automated email to the customer so it's saying hey lachlan you know Taylor just updated your booking, um, go check it out. What happens then is the client can open up that email, go check out their booking again, and bam, right there, they're having that second shooter line item showing up. You'll, their balance is now also increased by that $500. And so this booking page is really great because you can kind of keep track of everything in real time. The client has one place that they can come to where they know all the information for their booking is up to date. And that's just fantastic. Another thing to know about focal bookings is it's actually really easy for you to you know, record payments actually outside the system. So if a customer ever shows up at your door and you know, gives you a $2,000 stack of cash, you can actually go and record an outside payment. And so for example, maybe they're paying their deposit cash. I can put $2,000 right in here. I can hit confirm payment and that's actually gonna trigger a payment receipt email as well as update that client's booking. So that booking is now updated to partially paid and you'll see that the amount left on it is now 26.09.50 cents. If I open that booking up again over here and I refresh, the client is going to see that they now have $2,000 amount paid on their booking, so it's always up to date and they know that there's $2,609.50 remaining. Now, I know some of you out there like to split your payments up into more than two parts. And so at this point, a very easy way to change the amount that the customer has that's due on their booking is you can just go back into the booking again and very easily change the amount due. So maybe I'm gonna change this amount due to $1,000. I can hit save. Um, I can choose perhaps this time I won't send off an email notification and I'll just edit that booking. 
maybe I'm expecting the booking a couple months down the road, so I don't need to bug them right now for it. Now that amount due has been updated to $1,000, and that will be reflected on the um, booking page for the client. So now you'll see that amount due is $1,000. So now maybe a month down the road, it's time to send them a reminder. It's really easy. I can just go into my settings. I can click send payment reminder, and that's going to trigger a payment email to the client that's going to ask them, hey, it's time to pay for the second payment on your booking. The last thing you can do with focal bookings is that, you know, when a booking is fully paid, uh, if you don't want to clutter up your booking page, it's very easy to actually just archive that booking. You can click archive. It's going to disappear into the archive side of your bookings. And if you click show archive, you'll see um, all your hidden archive bookings. It's also very easy to unarchive them in case you need to bring them back um, to the open booking side of your bookings dashboard. Next, I'm going to go over contracts. So contracts are super easy to set up with Focal. Uh, you can add a contract template. We supply a default template here um, if you'd like to use that and s modify it to suit your needs. I will mention that Focal is not legally responsible for the use of this contract. So now that you've got that contract template set up here, it's very easy for you to add it to a booking request or add it to a new booking that you're creating so that the client can view and sign it on their booking page. Next off, I'm going to quickly go over the finance tab. This is where you can quickly go into your Stripe dashboard to see all of your payments and your Stripe account configuration. This is also where you can set your default tax rate, which is um, great if you have a set tax rate that are that's going to apply to most of your bookings. Um, this tax rate can also be overridden on the booking page if for some reason you need to charge a different tax rate.